Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, as we left off, we started doing a few quests, and I think that I want to continue on with that instead of um, pursuing too many more random missions. We're just going to start kind of wrapping up the story, I believe. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this should be the closest travel point. said that travel broadens the mind. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matibilaland, Father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. 
Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Okay then, is this just the end of it? Are we heading somewhere or what? Okay. Two, three, three, six. I do that though. I think I want to change my wardrobe. So notice I still have kind of my green motif going on. Let's start with headwear. I think we'll go invisible. Probably. Yeah. And stay the same way with facewear. Um, I guess let's start with our robe. Hmm. Oh, that's the Dark Hearts one, okay. I think I'll go with a more traditional wizard robe type thing. Mysterious Corduroy. There we go. That sounds interesting. Now, do I want a visible scarf? I've got the Treasure Seekers, why not? And about outfits. Oops. It to do change appearance. Maybe we will go with Hogwarts school uniform for a little while. And hmm, that's feeling pretty good. Let's check out our wand handles. Not that we'll really see it again, but yeah, I'll see a celestial blue. That looks kind of like a Ravenclaw's thing. So let's go. Okay. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Well, okay. Do we just have to wait around again? Hmm. Okay. Well, ten minutes in and we don't really have much of a mission, just dialogue or stuff so far. Um, I guess we'll do one of those main missions and perhaps it'll unveil something. Um, but before I do those, let's look on the map and see if we have any 
side quest. So I'd love to uh, do that instead. Another thing there. Hogs me. Okay, when you go to the world map. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure if the world map, when it says there's something, if that means there's just something, period, like it could be anywhere, like Hogsmeade or Hogwarts, but I don't see one. There's this little patch over here that I haven't flown over. It's possible it could be over there, sitting undiscovered. Yeah, I'm not seeing a quest marker. Hmm. Okay then, I guess that means we are going to go to one of these. This looks like the closest spot. Okay. Time we go find Sebastian. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. All right, we're gonna go in loud. I've already been using unforgivable curses anyway, so why not? There they are, up ahead. Uh -oh. Where you lead. We're close to a breakthrough. I can no one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Famous last words. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, missed him. Oh, where'd that guy go? Who's there? Ah, there you are. It's a pretty nasty curse, I gotta say. Alright. What can we find in this area? <laughs> oh ho ho, never the shall have. We'll keep heading to the mine in just a minute and we'll see if we have any other treasure to pick up. Doesn't look like it so far. Actually, let's see. This is a treasure cave. Let's go ahead and check it out since we're here anyways. Sometimes these are interesting and fun. Rebellion. Well, that one's pretty basic. Hmm. Almost looks like a butterfly or something. Interesting. I wonder if I was supposed to transform that or something. 
Now I'm starting to second guess myself about this area. I don't know why, but the music in that room just reminded me of the this is going movie well. Aladdin. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we can fight our way through or be discreet. You know what I'm doing. Oh, whoops. That guy got a double dose of the terrible there. How about we throw out one of these guys? Handy having the tentacular Fun take to out the uh, shields. <laughs> it is, and that was relatively fun. Revelio. Killing all those four goblins. <laughs> He's just like murder. Yeah. We'll say you know. Uh, you really can't take it the violent slightly because I mean. I think that if this were from the Harry Potter main story, like they'd all be pretty torn up if they had to kill that many people. I tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice! Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. Okay, let's see. Actually, I see a bag of money or something. Oh, okay, that's just that goblin ranger. I think it was I took out earlier. I'm not worried about that for now. All right, time for a little variety. We're using spells for a bit. For worse, we're in. One less human. I uh -oh. won't rest until you're dead. Think you're clever. This mine looks like a tomb. Oh my it goodness. Was after accidents were reported. <laughs> now I see why. That was uh, pretty hilarious. Rebellio. Oh, look at this person. It's pretty dark, man. The level of adventuring in this game makes me reminisce on, uh, I think, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. This feels like straight out of The Hobbit. In particular. Or the minds of Moria in Lord of the Rings. There we go. See this last one? Think you're clever. Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Hmm. Got spider webs up that way. And let's see it's something we can Leviosa to this way. High. Any ideas? It makes me think this is gonna be the Can way to go for extras. And we'll go to the ledge. Yep. This is just a little short area. Revelio. Oh, a Puskeen statue. Very cool. 
Aha. Trying to hide the treasure from me, are you? So many of these goblins carrying Wigan weld. Too bad they didn't have time to use it. Okay, I think I took off Leviosa. Nope, no, there it is. Looking at it. Okay. But I need, uh, well, this actually might work. There we go. Cool. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. <laughs> Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to jump down there, but let's see what's over here first. Rebellion. Another nearly sixty galleons there. Nope, another slide down. Smashing. Should have thought <laughs> to conjure stairs. Oh, this is feeling like a uh, potential big fight coming up. Ah, this looks like a case for Reparo here. Reparo. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we came in that way. Let's see. Better something back here. Bombarda. Oh, an unidentified hand on him. Okay. Hopefully that'll be something cool. Ah, there's a treasure back here. Almost missed it. Well, that was really well hidden. Almost missed that one. Very clever. I don't know why I keep thinking that Bombarda is a fire spell. I guess it's that red background, you know. Doesn't help that there's already two fire-related spells, but, you know. <laughs> Just damage. Oh, it's an animation. Okay. Sleep better tonight. Okay, that's why I can pick up the hork lump. Because of the spiders when you're coming in. They don't play those types of little cutscenes very often, do they? <laughs> We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Uh, let's see how about this guy. Lumos. Lumos. Confringo. Oh, there's another thing back here. Let's see. Rebellion. Natural terrain. Now can I get back here? Confringo. What is it? Further up. I guess it's further up. Hmm. I'm guessing I'll have at least one upgrade by the end of this play session today. That would be dandy. Okay, it looked like this was over to the right. 
Yeah. All right. Cool. Shibuya. Rebellion. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Oh, let's see. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at Green Dots. I was only young, mind. We are not like over here. Uh. Oh. 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 Oh, there we go. Confirmed. Oh. 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 There's some cabbages in here too, push up some fun. Let's see, we've also got spiders in coming. Switches. Okay. We certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a Ravenclaw, you certainly have a lot to learn. Revelio. Hmm. Okay. Give me that loot. Confringo. I wonder if, you know, having a Slytherin Rebellion. is. Kind of a prominent main character. Like I feel like his story might be a little bit. Sebastian's might be a little bit more than others. Uh, like I wonder if Slytherin is the most popular house or second, because I assume Gryffindor is, since that's where the original you know, tree are from. Above the cavern door, Ranrock's loyalists. Let's put Wingardium Leviosa down here. Wingardium Leviosa. All right, so we need to get the runes. There's also let's see, there's that slide. I feel like there's something else. Confringo. I wouldn't be surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. Yeah, it's three of them, right? Okay. So what was this guy doing out? Is it to get over there? Kinda looks like it. Hmm. It's gotta be a reason for it. I don't think I can climb that. Oh yeah, I think I slid down too. I so. Wasn't paying the closest attention when I came in here. Ah, uh, it was just to get up here and hit this rune probably. Okay, well I mean we got another little treasure so, I mean, 
something's better than nothing, right? Okay. I believe this has all been explored. Let's just do a double check with Revelio. Ah, it's Dora's journal. Another passageway. We should search the room first. Oh, I'm away, broom. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? All I remember is eyes. Empty. Empty of sorrow, yes, but also. I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither fell nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the blind death. Lacey is no longer in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Revelio! Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft? Let's have a look around. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Here we go. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do. But not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Okay. Another mission down. Let's see what we fulfilled in our challenges. Oh, here we go. 70 spiders. Wow. Can't believe I've taken out that many. Alright. Go ahead and flip through our collections to you. Oh, I thought I saw one. Maybe I scrolled past it already. Oh, 
But I wish that they would patch it and make it a little bit easier to see these. Or just mark them as seen or something. There we go. Okay. We have another challenge? I thought I already cleared this. Okay, I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, we need to go ahead and go to the room of requirements so we can identify our gear and upgrade it if it's an improvement. Too bad I'm not quite ready to level up yet because I'm close to being able to wear these are two that I've been holding on to for a while, so let's go see. I'll start by collecting everything, I guess. I've already got this. There we go. Ah, oh, we might as well identify. Why not? Okay, now let's see. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's switch. Swoop over to that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, oh, level 32. 94, 92. Well, let's see. Scorching 3, Concentration 1, 92. Strange that these standard dueling gloves would be points higher than this because even if I enhance them it wouldn't matter. Weird. Oh man we gotta get all the way to 33 for that one. The curious silver spectacles. That'd be a decent upgrade though. All right hats. How are we looking? Nope. House emblem scarf. Nope. Nandi. Okay. I guess nothing to put on right now. Just a whole bunch of stuff to sell. I don't think I'll do the... Uh... Oh, here's my focus potion that I wasted earlier. <laughs> See, I was just planning there. That was all part of the plan to get more things harvested. I think we're full, that's why it's not letting us take anything. I think I already used two tentaculas, so this will just give me back. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's swarp over to Hogsmeade and sell everything we have that we couldn't use anyways. And we'll go here. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, I thought I saw a lock. Yeah, there's a lock shimmering over there. I'll have to go violate that person's Hello face there. here in a minute. In the market for potions, are we? Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Oh, yeah, I really wish that they'd give him a little bit more dialogue a poor NPC has like the same line every time I see him I'm just gonna double check the stats on these because I'm a little bit paranoid I'm about to sell something I shouldn't let's just look be safe I hope to see you again nope wrong button Okay, let's see. I guess it's an outfit. Okay. Just want to look one more time. 18 offense. Yeah. So, this one is plus 6 higher. So weird. I think that the face wear was a keep. Yeah. And we can go ahead and sell the gloves. Alright. We'll get that done too. I think it, this might push me over 25,000. for you today? Nice. 25,000. 
think that's the most I've ever had at one time. I hope to see you again. Farewell. It's gotta now. be pretty close. Um, okay. Well, we have sold our stuff, and I want to go be a bad guy and check out what's in this person's house. But I unlocked uh, most of the uh, doors in Hogsmeade, but apparently not. There we go. Rebellion. Mahogany fingerless gloves. Let's see, there's the door on the second floor, too. There's a creepy noise that's playing. I don't know if it's a result of my uh, Revelio or what. Boy, that is a creepy sound. Revelio. Okay, I already know. Ah. Someone is that doesn't want to see me. Alright, let's do our disillusionment. <laughs> nice. Rebellion. Thing else up here. Very bit in there. Won't bother with it again. I think I see a light door up here. Looks like maybe one over to the left as well. Let's check this one out. Aloha Mora. Revelio. Oh, look at this. That's really a really fancy chest. I haven't seen one look that intricate. It like a jewelry box. Slim people's clothes. Okay. Um, I think that's another lock door up over here. This is pretty fun. Aloha Mora. There we go. Rebellion. More of the fingerless gloves. Must be the Hogsmeade fashion of the day. There's gonna be at least one more door I haven't been in yet. See, this is animal place. I could sell my animals. I don't think Come I've been in. here in a while. Sorry if there's a smell. I feel no like there's one or two I've met. Yeah. Goodbye, Flooper. Goodbye, Poskeen. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Rebellion. Hmm. Hey, there's so many dukes. I think there's still nothing to buy there, right? Like her to forget. Hey, look at that. Why is this illuminated as if I opened it already? Weird. Rebellion. It's heavy glitch, right? Oh well. Oops. I'm stuck. Nut, 
Okay. Okay, there's Poppy. I'll leave her be for the moment. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Be sure if I talk to her, we'll have to go do something with that dragon mission. And, uh, I'd rather wait a little bit longer. I found another door. Oh, here's a, another few treasures I haven't opened. At least I think so. Nice. Okay. Is this like a little balcony? Oh, yeah. Okay, there's another treasure or two back here, so... This has got to be one of the ones you got to hide from, right? Oh, no. It's not. They usually ornate ones. I wonder if they're always destined to be unidentified item boxes. Hello, in fact, it might have been the one that had. I wonder if that was the ones that had the question marks. May have just finally put two and two together here. Let me look. Yep, that's it. Really clever. Revelio. Something else. There we go. Revelio. Well, that's a fair amount of money and stuff. Okay, I think there's another padlock door over here. Yeah. There's one of those butterfly mirror things too. You can suck on a lot of things Hello, in this Hamora. area. There's a lot of stuff laying around. Rebellion. All right. I'm trying to remember to go back to remove requirement before the stream ends and uh, give a quick look at everything that we've got here. Oh, what's up this? I don't know about this one. Bombarda. Confringo. Revelio. Maybe I had to repair it. Oh, you know what this is? I bet this is that haunted house DLC thing. The one that PC players don't get to have. Rebellion. Not for a whole year. What a bummer. Okay, let's see. Alright, looks like there's at least one more locked door. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Oh, something upstairs too. Three somethings. It's pretty good loot today. Something. Revelio. 
I think it's an iron locked door. Yeah. No, he locked locked doors. I'm sure I want to get myself over that way. There we go. Alohomora. Oh, another creepy ceramic mask. All right, maybe a requirement. of all the potions you've brewed. Very proud, Deke. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we had to identify here. Hey, three new things. I think two of them are legendary sets too, so... Oops. Ah, Nandi again. Hmm. If it's free, I definitely don't want to get it, whatever the purple is. Got quite a bit of loot. I think I'll go sell stuff one more time and then we'll probably call it a stream after that. But this one. Another dog. Okay. Let me go check out the uh, loom first because I feel like surely um, if I created one of these, it would catch up, right? Let's see, this has two. We get defense to go up by six. I think the next one is we can go up by 12 or something. I, mean, I got plenty of fur, so yeah. Ah, I need phoenix feathers. That's gonna be the part that's gonna hold me back from getting like all my stuff up to that ultimate level, you know. Okay then. Um, yeah. So let's go sell our stuff one more time, and then we'll probably call the stream shortly after. On another adventure, are we? Alright. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawin. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Here we go. Keep the glasses, keep the glasses. Can't believe a this about filled up my inventory again that quickly. Too bad hardly anything is worth keeping. This will be our one piece that will end up being worth it. So close to the next level though. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I wish that they'd put a uh, level up you know, indicator here using however many points you know it takes to get to the next level or something because it'd be nice. Oh, here it is. Okay, that get everything cleared. Oh, we have quests. Poached egg. Poppy sent me an owl saying she knows where we need to return the dragon egg we have in our possession. I'm to meet her in Hogsmeade's town circle. Okay. Yeah, we'll save that one for next time. So let's go ahead and roll credits and say thank you for watching. This has been S tier rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube. And I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.